We welcome in our college football insider, Bruce Feldman, right now. Urban cannot interact with the team until September 3rd. That's two days after the fifth-ranked Buckeyes open up with Oregon State. How do you expect the dynamic to work with offensive coordinator Ryan Day taking over the reins for the first three games? Well, Rob, from a logistical standpoint, Urban Meyer, after that first game, can actually run practice, be back there Monday through Friday. He just can't be in the building on game days. Now, Ryan Day is a rising star in the coaching world. He's a Chip Kelly protege. Actually passed up chances to be the head coach at, at Mississippi State. Also could have been the Tennessee Titans offensive coordinator. He's a very organized guy. He's very even keel. And from talking to people in the program, they've been impressed how he's handled it. I talked to an NFL scout the other day who said he was out at practice. He said everything was crisp and physical. It was a very organized, well thought out operation. And keep in mind though, you have a really, really experienced staff around him. Larry Johnson, long, long time defensive line coach. Greg Schiano, the defensive coordinator, former NFL guy. Kevin Wilson on the other side, lots of experience. And I think what Ryan Day's done a really, really good job is finessing what could have been an awkward situation that both Greg Schiano and Kevin Wilson were passed over and he got the, got the job instead to be the interim. And from what I was told, he really handled it well by going to both guys and kind of getting things out in the open. And it seems to be running pretty smoothly so far.